it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here back again with another video and today we are back on Dad's farm where we are on the final field of corn. We have three passes left, three or four passes left on this field and then we are done with harvest for the season. <clears throat> so right now we have, uh oh, shoot, okay. Us 83.5. There we go. Alright, much that looks much better. So far we have pulled out 1,333,500 liters of corn. If we hop to the yard here, uh, you can see we have another new auger tractor. This is the last auger tractor that we're gonna get. Um I got rid of the Magnum because it was sliding a lot and it was causing really weird issues so i got rid of that and we got the 4440 instead we have five bins full of corn and the field that we're on is pulling pretty pretty poor um in terms of corn uh, or yield and we're almost done so i just decided we'll just haul it in and sell it right off the bat rather than waste a bin um, <clears throat> so let's just get this guy unloaded here or get him started unloading I guess uh, this field wasn't taken care of very well so we got a lot of weeds we have some pretty poor nutrients uh, we've got 6.4 pH 2 and 4 pK 11% moisture. I've seen it jumping from all the way down at 5 all the way up to 15 uh, In different spots right where we're at. We have a lot of weeds um, I tried editing the map to add the lime and it was not working So I went and I found this placeable um, Kalk silo which is placeable lime silo. So we got that and that's uh, what we'll be using <clears throat> for our lime purposes. Now, uh, if we hop over here to the dealership, uh, we have the uh, Rogator 1386 sprayer sitting here, and then the Magnum 7250. Uh, the sprayer is sitting here because if you don't already know, um, where is it? Uh, Joe released his Case IH. 4440 Patriot sprayer, so we will be using that instead um, <clears throat> Yeah, so what we need to do is we need to get our pickup here And we need to take this fuel trailer to the farm and also um, uh Oh, the tractor is in traffic Ooh. That would be why. Um, we're going to take the fuel trailer to the farm and hook up to the header trailer. Uh, because once we finish harvesting, we're going to take the combine and grain cart to the farm and wash them up. And then we're going to unhook the corn header so that we can put the draper header on the combine for a minute. And get it loaded onto the, um, we'll get it loaded onto the header trailer, so that way we can pull the header trailer to the dealership and, um, get rid of both. See, I don't even think that we're going to get another full semi-load off of this field, uh, that we're on, but... Uh, we did do pretty good for harvest, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, the corn could have been a little better. Uh, there was a few soybean fields that could have been a little better as well, but uh, we got it done, so uh, I'm glad. Um, okay, now to find out where to fill again. There we go. 
So we'll get that refilling. And then we'll go ahead and hook up to the header trailer here. So once we empty that LMS placeable fuel thing, uh, once we empty that, we're getting rid of it. Um, I think just because it's kind of a pain. So I think I'm just going to get rid of the thing. But uh, we're going to go ahead and pull up here. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to finish corn harvest. We're going to finish selling off equipment. And we're going to actually work on that here in just a moment. Uh, we need to get our truck up here. And then we will get set up to sell grain, which is what we will be doing in tomorrow's video. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get the sprayer. Oops, didn't want to get out of it. We're going to get the sprayer and the magnum sold here. Whoa! Stop there, sprayer. Okay, and then we want to stop running. We want this tractor. It's a nice tractor, it just, it slides a lot, and this stupid scrolling thing here is really annoying, so, just gonna get rid of it. I like the 4440 better anyways, so, we'll go with that. So, 48,000 for the tractor, 657 for the sprayer, we're now at 548,926. And our green carts unloading so we'll have the front trailer full I think and then a portion of the back trailer so not uh, not the greatest yield off of this field but it could have been worse uh, I think I pulled maybe three full trailer loads out of here no four no three three trailer loads out of this field and we'll get maybe a fourth, uh, or portion of a fourth, I should say. So, not the greatest, but it's not the worst. It could have been a whole lot worse uh, yield, so we'll just take it as it is, I guess. So, yeah, in yesterday's video, uh, we got the Chandler 24 RDT um tender trailer all AO'd uh and then done and um now I see there's a lot of new stuff here on Polygonish uh we have that I want to buy but I'm not buying anything more I guess until I finish the models that I have just because I have a lot going right now and I don't want to do these quite yet um so we have a John Deere W260 with a 440D Draper platform. And then we have another 260 with a 995 rotary platform. I really wish that he would make so that you can buy just the header and just the swather rather than having to spend... Holy crap, the price has gone down a lot already. <laughs> Sorry you got off track, but yeah, I just looked yesterday and these things were $30 each. Now they're 19 so not bad. Um, but I wish he would make it so that you could buy just the swather or just the header. That way you don't have to buy both swathers and both headers when all you want is one swather and one header. But I don't, I don't think that these are set up any differently. They could be on the front. I can't quite tell. I mean, there are some differences on it, obviously, but... Anyway, so I want to buy that. Um, there is this John Deere R4045 sprayer, but I don't really feel like buying it. I have a Hagee sprayer that I bought. I have Joe's Patriot. Those two sprayers, those will be fine. Then we got the John Deere 568 round baler. I really, really want to buy this because um, it's a really nice baler. It would be nice to have a little bit something different for a baler. Uh, I saw Joe Lindbergh bought it, and uh, he did a live stream yesterday, and he was using it. Um, or no, not yesterday. A couple days ago, he did a live stream, and he was using it. And it looks 
he did really, um, really, really nice, and uh, did a really good job on it. So. Yeah, he set his up so that it made different size bales, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, and maybe by the time I get to doing that thing, um, I'll have a little more knowledge with like scripts and stuff, so then I could figure out you know how to make different bale sizes as well. Because that's a nice idea, you know. That baler wouldn't make the in-game size bales; it would make a lot larger bales. Um, and he had his kicker work set to work too, which that'd be neat to figure out. Um, you know, kind of copying, I guess you could say, but he's got his set up the way that it should be, and that's how I would want mine set up as well. Um, uh, okay, we're 11 minutes in, so we'll be able to get this all finished up. Let's see, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy off course play. He is done for the season. Done for good, actually, because we're getting rid of this tractor and also the grain cart. And actually, we can delete all of our combine and all of our grain cart courses. Um, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that today or now or anything. Uh, that's project for later on. So we're going to let this guy sit. We're going to hop in the combine here. Actually, we're going to unload the grain cart and get the grain cart home. Because the combine's not going to fill up enough. It's not going to fill up off of that little bit. Uh, and if it does, then we'll just bring the truck to the combine. And go from there. Uh, and we'll take the grain cart home. Get it cleaned up. And then we'll park it, because uh, I want to get a screenshot of all the equipment uh, before before we uh, quit, or before we sell everything, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and close this, so that way it doesn't keep uh, beeping. And here comes the leg. Hot damn. Gotta love leg. Not. It did kind of... Um, it did blow out my computer and it was working for a while. I probably need to do it again though. Probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't hurt. Okay, so let's get this thing taken to the... To the yard. <laughs> um, tell you what, I'm going to cut the recording here for a minute, and I'm going to um, take the grain cart to the farm. I'm not going to wash it yet. I'll finish up the corn, take that to the take the combine to the farm, get the header loaded, and I'm going to restart the game so that this leg goes away. Uh, so I will be back in just a moment with no leg <clears throat> all right and we're back um so figured out how much grain we have we have 1,396,637 liters uh i'll get this put into the google sheets document later on i'm not going to uh, worry about it right now 
So we are just emptying the semi. I got the combine and the grain cart uh, in the yard. I got the draper header on the header trailer. Header trailer is hooked up to the combine. So all we got to do is take the truck to the farm. Um, get a snap, uh, snap a picture quick. Wash up the combine and the grain cart. And then um, we can take those to the dealership, sell them. And then... Um, we can get uh, the auger set up. Uh, we can actually do the auger. Well, we'll do the auger when we come back, I guess, from the dealership because we got to put the farm king away and then get the brant out. So we will get that done. We'll just uh, head to the yard. Harvest was uh, pretty good. Could have been a lot better, but um, turned out really well. Uh, first time I've done like a full full season on a map with soil mod and everything uh, I haven't done that in a long time I usually get sick of a map and leave and you know don't do anything with it um, but uh, that or I don't sit and um, manage it you know, manage my soil very well the way I should. Are you kidding me? The leg is going to set in again? This stupid thing has been driving me nuts the last few days. And I'm getting so sick and tired of this issue. I need to hurry up and get my map done so that way I, I know that I have a good map to play on. No leg, I have good mods. I just need to get mine done and need to kick it in gear. I don't know why this thing is being so stupid. Okay, we're gonna park that, shut it off. And we're gonna get a screenshot, I guess. There's like literally nothing in this yard except for what's here. So, I don't know. Whoa, I'm zoomed in way too far. And there we go. Alright, let's wash this stuff up and get rid of it. There we go. Now I can look down and wash at the same time. Okay, that's all clean. Let's get the combine cleaned up. Tractor here cleaned up, and then we get the grain cart clean. And I guess I think I'll just do. We'll see how much time we have left. I might just set up the uh, Brant auger. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I might set the Brant auger up in the next episode, maybe when we get ready to sell. Because I guess really I can't set it up quite yet because I don't know what crop we'll be selling first. So I should probably figure that out before I set the auger up. That'd probably be a good idea. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to get rid of this stupid LMS thing.
Then we will also be getting rid of this pressure washer. I have a mod that, uh, it's a trailer. It's a trailed pressure washer. So we're going to get that instead. Uh, and use that. Get it around the combine here. I hope this is cleaning. <laughs> There it is. It's funny, some mods have really weird spots that you have to get, you know, sit and hold the sprayer on to get it to unload, or to unload the clean. Alright, so let's get rid of the pressure washer now there we go okay so let's move this guy to right here and we're gonna use follow me mod and we're going to run the combine hopefully the leg will go away once we leave the farm and hoping Thirty should work. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully, this frame rate will come back as we head out on the road. So once this combine's all cleaned up, the windows are a nice normal color. They're not that uh, annoying orange that they are when it's dirty. To get our hazards and beacons turned on. Uh, they're on on the grain cart as well now. So we're just going to kind of cut through the field. Just kind of make this turning a little bit easier. So yeah, now our fields are going to get really bad. Because I'm going to be letting them sit for a while without doing anything to them because I'm going to be fast forwarding time until I can hit great demands so once I hit a great demand then I'll stop time right away and try and sell as much grain as I can uh, you know during that and then um, be doing that until all the grain is sold and then once the grain is sold then we'll go through and we'll you know apply anhydrous all that good stuff and the header is starting to slowly move off that's why I had it unlocked hopefully it'll stay on till we hit uh, the till we get to the dealership normally I don't usually sell my equipment straight off either normally I just uh, or sell it direct. I'd usually just go to the store menu and click sell. And this leg is so annoying. I need to really just sit and blow my computer out. I also need to check and see if there's an update for the graphics driver as well. There could be an update for that. got a lot of grain to sell we got we 
We have 21 bins full. That's a lot of green. A lot, a lot, a lot of green. So we're almost there finally. Header is staying so far. Hopefully it'll make it to uh, the last little bit. See, I think uh, I'm going to start having a lot more modding videos soon um, because I want to try and get a lot of my projects done that I have going right now, and I have a lot of them. Um, and I want to try and get them done, and I know I've had a lot of people say, you know, they want to see how to do different things, so, you know, really just me doing video while I'm doing stuff, that's probably about the best way to show it because otherwise, you know, it's like, okay, what should I show... How should I show it? That kind of thing. Instead, I can just do it, show it as I'm doing it, show how I'm doing it, that kind of stuff. So, I think that would be the best. Took 47.6 hours to uh, do all the harvest. It's quite a lot. A lot of time spent. Okay, so we're going to pull all this out. Let's see, where is the trigger exactly? Somewhere in there. Alright, so... There's the header. Okay. So good. We did get the combine out of the cell area. So if we were to sell this combine uh, through the store, we would only get 220000 for the combine and 38 for that, so that'd be 258 And instead, we're going to get... So that's 264 That's 45.6. All right, that was pretty good. Now we'll get this thing sold. The tractor sold and the grain cart returned because the grain cart we are just renting. I'm pretty sure the grain cart's the only thing that we have left that we're renting, unless we're renting the doper trailers. I don't remember if I rented those or bought those. So this should put us over the million mark. And it did, because I got rid of them both at the same time. And our frame rate is back. So I'm guessing that, well, not in the yard, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so we are over the million mark. Um, let's get, I put the uh, placeable lime silo in here. So let's get that purchased. Um, we'll put that where... We'll put it right there in that row. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to call that a video here. Um, I'm going to log out, log in again. And then uh, I'm going to fast forward time until we hit a great demand. I'm going to get the 4440 and that put away. Um, let's see. Yep, our dopers are rented, so that's all we have left for rented machines. Uh, so we only need to make about a million off of the uh, um, grain, and then we'll have enough for our dairy equipment and our other equipment that we want to get. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, check out down below in the description for my PC specs. Uh, my video schedule is down there as well. Links to my social medias, the link to my mod site, as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at are all down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully next episode we won't have all this lag.
and low frame rate. Uh, and there is the timer anyways. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.